one professor at North Dakota State University is taking a new spin on medical research. Dr. Amanda Brooks can most often be seen with um, a spider in hand. Her fangs are curved underneath. Right at earning her the nickname, the Spider Lady. I had no affinity to spiders, but I didn't hate them either. And I'm like, hey, this is pretty cool that I could engineer this. And that's kind of what started it all. Dr. Brooks and her lab students are working towards developing the delicate fibers of spider silk. By using proteins, they are hoping to reconstruct the silk so it can become a common material used throughout the medical field. She's just hanging out there. Currently, Dr. Brooks has four golden orb spiders that get silked every other day. We just tape them down with scotch tape. The spiders are knocked out with CO2, taped down, and given cricket guts to snack on while the students extract the spider silk. So this is spider silk that's wrapping around um, the conical here. Dr. Brooks and her students work together to make sure the spiders live a comfortable so life in the lab so they can get as much silk as possible. We have to have them on a 12-hour light-dark cycle. They have to be maintained at a certain temperature. Because we're not as humid as Florida, we have to make sure that we spray them with water a few times a day. So they're a little finicky. For pre-pharmacy student Brianna Bremrish, mm -hmm. working in Dr. Brooks's lab is something she looks forward to every day. Dr. Brooks will give us a project and then we can just work on it and we can be creative and see what we can figure out and find out on our own. Studying spiders is out of the question for some students, but Dr. Brooks never seems to struggle finding a helping hand. There's always a place for everybody in the lab. There's always something that I can find for students to do. As Dr. Brooks' research continues, she hopes others will start seeing the benefits spiders can provide rather than just viewing them as household pests. Ethan Degree, Campus News.